Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Ellen Camille Trent. Today on Art Therapy Thursday, we're doing a really fun, bright, pretty uh, sun, ocean sunset painting. I'm not showing my face today because <laughs> it's one of those days. I haven't taken a shower yet. <laughs> um, if you have any um, questions, please leave them in the comment section. I always go over my materials and I leave them in the description box. You just hit that part on the video that says, sh below the video that says show more and it will show up all the information that you need to have. Um, if you're new to my channel, I have so many tutorials on, on wet on wet and flowers and animals, so please check out the videos. And um, my other subscribers have been here for a while. Thank you so much for keep coming back. I appreciate it. So let's get started. Okay, so we're going to be going over materials. I have my arches, 100% cotton cold pressed paper. Um, what I did is I basically cut in half my 10 by 14 sheet, so it's a 7 by 10 sheet. I taped it down this piece of cardboard. I'm using Scott's Magic Tape, and what I do is I, it's very sticky because I ran out of my other painter's tape, and really right now I can't get any supplies. So um, you take this tape, you put it on your pants, and then tape it down because it has the fibers on the pants and it keeps it from being so sticky. Paper towel, I'll have my two brushes I'll be using this uh, Gold, Grumbacher Golden Edge number 10, this Robert Simmons Craft Painter Flat Wash Brush number 1, my paints that I have here. I have three water jars up here like this and that's that. So for this fun little, you know, um, beach, well not beach, well ocean tutorial we're gonna, you know, I like to make the, the sky a little pink and fun just to brighten up the day and with the, with the little yellow, sorry I can't even really talk today. Um, so it's a mixture of yellow and rose. So I have light yellow here. I have a rose here. I'm going to mix up some of this. You want a good amount of both um, because this flat wash brush really soaks up the paint and so does the paper. So I'm going to mix up a bunch of this. Okay, we're going to start off by wetting the top half. So I might do three-fourths of the page, the sky, less the water. You can do whatever way you want. You can do half and half. So I'm going to take my wash brush and get this whole top area wet of the paper. Because we're going to be blending in the colors and it's going to be wet on wet on top. On the bottom area, we're going to do more wet on dry. Okay, so I filled that all in. I'm going to be grabbing my light yellow first and going across the bottom. It's a little bright, so I'm going to add in some of this dark yellow. And it can bleed a little bit if it's want to. I'm going to add some more water. Let that bleed across. And if it bleeds down, that's great. Okay, so now we're going to clean off our brush. And we're going to take some of that rose paint. I'm going to grab some more. Actually, I think I need more. And start going from the top downward. Grab way more of that. I have a pink sky. Get some more of that. There we go. And then blend it down this way, like an ombre. Ombre is when the colors kind of blend together. And then we're going to add some medium red, get that orange in there, just like so. So it's going to be a little, a little bit of orange. If it's not showing up orange, I'm going to grab some of that yellow and go across. Now it's looking more like that intense orange color, which is fun. It will dry lighter than this. And I feel like this is a little too bright yellow, so I'm going to clean off my brush, pat it down the paper towel, and go in and soak up some of that paint. See? And you can see white, which is what I want to do. And I'm going to grab some more of that rose and go over here this way. Take some of that orange off, go up in here, put some in here. So we have this beautiful like pink ombreish kind of sky. 
I've shown you many times how you make clouds with paper towels. So just gonna go and do some fun little zippy clouds. Just crunch up your paper towel. Go in. I have them going across up here. And then I'm gonna take the paper towel Make a dot right there, like the sun. It's right there. Just soak it up a little more. And I might have some, take the paper towel and go across a little bit here. Yeah, I think that looks good. I mean, it's a little bright with the orange. I think it hopefully if it dies lighter, if it doesn't, no big deal. And we've got a bright pink too. I don't know if I like the pink so bright. I might take my brush and take some of this paint up. Soak it up. It's a little bright. Yeah, it's a little better. And it has that cool ombre pink sky. And then I'm gonna add a little pink down below the yellow. So that's wet on dry. It's not wet down below. It's just a little pink going down across. You know, this is just a fun, colorful tutorial. It doesn't have to be perfect. I don't even know if I'm just doing straight, but... And if it hits the yellow, it's okay, because it makes it a little orange, and that's kind of cool for a sunset. Okay, now we're gonna mix up some, I just have plain old turquoise. I use Artist Loft turquoise. And I'll just mix up some turquoise. Now you can have this pink all going down here like this, like a, the sun, I have to soak up some more of that paint. I'm gonna go across again with some yellow. Sorry, I'm babbling. But so I, I didn't like the way that was looking. So I really want that sun to show so I've added some more yellow paint and I'm gonna do that dot again. I want that sun there to be white. Doesn't want to cooperate. <laughs> but you get the idea. And then I take some off there. So we're gonna do wet on dry. And I wanna do take the golden edge brush. I'm going to grab some of this yellow paint, water it down a little bit, dab it in a paper towel. I'm just going to make some simple wash lines so it's the reflection of the sun setting. Because you can't paint the yellow over the blue, you got to do it first. Go out a little more over here. And then you could add in the pink, which is a rose. Water down. In between that also. And we're gonna be adding turquoise in between that too. Leave some white, as you see I'm leaving here. We're just adding that in. And you can go across. Just the wash going across, like so. This is the wet on dry. We didn't wet the whole bottom area. We're just washing in the pink. Still trying to keep that yellow. I'm gonna add in a darker yellow to brighten up. And then I'm gonna keep adding in the pink. Just washing it across. Now we're going to slowly add in some of that turquoise. I don't want to add too much at once. 
So I, I take it on my brush, I dab it on the paper towel, and I'm just going to add some in. You don't want it too wet, it's going to bleed a lot. If you hear any thunder noises, it's because it's raining and thundering outside. Okay, now we're going to wash this turquoise across the bottom. It's a fun, pretty ocean sunset tutorial. And then we're washing it across here, leaving some white spaces. And we'll add some darker tones of the turquoise in a bit. You're just building up on this. You don't want to do it all too fast all at once. Washing down the turquoise here. Going across, and then little spots. You can grab some more thicker of the right out of the tube turquoise. You don't want it too wet. It's getting a little too wet. I'm gonna have to actually put some more paint down. There we go. All right, so it's thicker. So it's creamier, less water. I'm still gonna dab it in my paper towel and just take off the excess. And we're just gonna make some darker tones going across. And then the little lines like you see, the ripples of the ocean. Down here, I'm gonna fill it in. Don't get so caught up if it's, you know. Sometimes you can overwork it. I've overworked things a lot with these ocean lines, ripple lines. What I suggest is that you do is you put some lines in, step back, look at it again, step back. That way you don't put it up too much at once. I'm sitting down, so it's a little more difficult to see. But you want to step back. And, you know, who cares? It's just, you people understand that it's the ocean. I'll put some up here, going across. I think people get too afraid to do anything. Let's just go ahead and do it. Again, the little ripples. And then you can get some darker turquoise, which is basically hardly any water on the paint, basically almost right out of the tube. Again, just little lines like the ripples. You want to have fun with this. You don't want to make it so stressful for yourself. Don't want to over go overboard with this turquoise paint. So I'm going to clean off my brush and I'm going to grab some of that rose again. Oh, it still had blue in my brush, it was making it purple. Okay, we're going to grab some rose. I'm going to add, oh, it's a little too dark. Water that down. Dab it. Okay, now we're going to add some of those ripples with the pink. Just in that area. And if you want to go and add some of that dark yellow to get the orange in there also, oh, it's a little intense. You can do that. Just kind of like in the middle part or the summer setting. So it's a reflection of it. And then the outliers, you can do more pink again. So I'll grab this rose and put some of that rose out in here. You can go in and add some ultramarine too if you want to just punch up some of that turquoise area. 
Um, I grab some ultramarine. Just going to add some dark ripples. You know, change it up. It's supposed to be abstract and fun, not serious. If the ripples are too much, like you think it's too many ripples and you want to flatten that out, I'll just grab a turquoise and just wash it right across like that. And you can do that as well. Definitely want to go to the sides. I can see some of my sides are very white and I'm not going fully across. So you want to go fully across. And there you go. I mean, this is. I can stand up in my chair and see if I like the way it's looking. Eh, not bad. Kind of looking the, the effect that I want. An abstract sunset. Maybe over in here, we want to add just a little more of the turquoise. But you get the idea. Or if I don't feel like that's too much turquoise, just lift it up. Put more pink in there. I'll we'll just leave it white, like a reflection. Grab that rose. Oops. Go across. Can add more pink. Which if you hit the blue, it'll turn purple. But I like it the way it is. So that was pretty easy and quick, right? Didn't take that long. It has a nice fun effect. I'm gonna take off this tape. What's cool when you tape it down is that when you lift it up, you have this automatic border. It will rip the cardboard, <laughs> this tape, but it won't wreck the, the paper, which is nice. And I'll lift it off that, and you can see how it really came out. Ta-da! So I hope you enjoyed this. This was a fun, relaxing tutorial sunset. Very bright, pretty, colorful, and something to brighten up your day. And I hope you guys are having a somewhat decent day today and, and trying to stay stress-free and I hope this um, relaxed you a little bit. So take care. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell notification button because my videos have been very sporadic lately um, just because of what's going on and I can't get a um, schedule down right now. It's just kind of crazy. Um, so please hit that bell notification button so you know when the tutorials are up. Thank you guys so much for stopping by my channel and have a great day.